Good morning. I am prepping my first meal of the day. Um, it is 8.37. I probably won't eat this just yet. Um, I need to go do some stuff before I eat, but I just wanted to have it done so that I am able to eat. This is, hold on, okay. Sorry about that. This meal is 608 calories or 11 points. It is one of my higher meals. Let me show you what I'm using. <clears throat> using this. One bagel, eight points. I used one and a half tablespoons of this, so this is three points, I believe. Yeah, three. I used the whole package of this. Um, it rings up as three points in the app because of the seasoning. I count this as zero. <laughs> and then I just added some spinach, which is zero. And then the kiwi is zero. So there you go. Macros and everything will be on the screen. Breakfast. Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging from Y'all can't hear me or whatever. It's a nice day outside, but I don't feel like driving to um, the trail that I normally go to a forest park, which is where I normally like walk. And I gotta get my 45 minute workout in the So I am on my back porch walking the place. As y'all can see. Um, my legs are super sore. Uh, the other day, I did my strength training thing outside, but I like to switch it up, kind of. So I still have um, my BC double legs to finish, and because I'm walking in place and it's more of my exercise type thing for that, oh, I just put other massage heads like the workout, I could have did mixed cardio or whatever the case may be. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be me for the hardest part of 75 hard is working out outside. Um, of course, it feels nice today, but like Sunday is like supposed to be like in the 20s or 30s, so it's not really so. Um, yeah, so I don't know how. I'm gonna do this, but I'm just gonna say, like, while I'm out here working out, y'all can hear me talk for a little bit. Um, because, like I said, my legs are sore, so I'm not like trying to do some like extensive art for workout. My strength training kind of was that. Um, if you are new here, hi, welcome back to another gorgeous day with your girl Jess. <laughs> It had to come in somewhere at some point it is well, right? Um, welcome, my name is Jess. I am on a weight loss journey. I'm trying to get myself back to where I was before I had back surgery. Um, yeah, so a lot of stuff that you will see me do has to be modified because I have back surgery and I'm not trying to hurt my back again and make it worse. So I do what I can with what I got and that's it, that's all. Um, today is day four of 75 hard. Like I said, I might not have said, but today is the fourth day. Um, I've already got my 10 minutes, not 10 minutes, my 10 pages of reading done for the day. I actually want to go. I'm gonna get myself together. I'm gonna get myself together because I've got some way to go. Um, I know this on the top of my head. After I finish this workout, I hope that my vlog has actually exported so 
so that I can upload to YouTube for the thumbnail and I'm gonna get myself together and go shopping. Um, it's the last day of the year. I have done everything for everybody else. There are some things I need to get picked up for the house, mainly for the house. But I want to get, um, I don't know, get myself like some new lip glosses or just something um, in 2022 because this is the day before the new year. But y'all see, this is 2022. In 2022, my goal or one of the things I want to do as far as self care goes is actually putting myself together somewhat in the morning. So a lot of times, like I get up, I go drop the kids off, whatever. I come back home, I drop them off, look at like whatever, so we close it. Um, but my goal is when I get up in the morning, wash my face, all that great stuff is put on some mascara and lip gloss. Like I just, it's not like I have to be like all the way put together, but I feel like lip gloss and mascara just makes my face a little brighter than it normally is or whatever. Um, so I wanna do that. So that's like one of my things. So I'm gonna go get some like new mascara, some new lip glosses so I have like variety. Um, and I wanna get some like workout shoes, but like I'm not pressed about it. Um, Cause I have to work out in the shoes that I have. They've been you know, doing well. Believe it or not, these little um, shoes I got for like BJ, and BJ never wore, but like I wear the same size as them. And I just started wearing them, and I got them from Walmart. Actually helped my feet out so much when walking. Cause they have like a memory support in them, but it's a thicker sole. And because, all right, I go, I'll see y'all later. Hang on, so I'm not sure where I left off at PayPal and got a lot of stuff. Yeah, so because y'all can't see my face. Cool. Um, I wanted to tell y'all one of the things towards the end of 2021 that I picked up on and I'm learning about myself and it aligns with my goals for 2022 is to put me first. I never really understood when my brother met, when he always talked about, fuck those kids, man, fuck those kids. But literally, fuck those kids. <laughs> and fuck everybody else who don't align with your needs. Because if you don't put yourself first, you are gonna fail every single fucking time. And I know I did a lot of cussing there in that little short little segment, but yeah. A lot of things was always, especially like this move, was about my kids, also about better in myself. Like, don't get me wrong, my aspects and the way I move are always centered around making sure that my family is okay. Because at the end of the day, my family is an extension of me and they are important to me. They are what matters. So what I did about this move was making sure my family was straight, but I also moved because of me. My mental health was failing. I wasn't, I didn't have a support system like I needed. And I just wasn't the best person I could be. I'm a great person. I know I'm a great person. And I'm a great person whether I am the weight that I am now, whether I am 300 pounds, whatever. This weight loss, like I said before, is subjective. Um, the weight is gonna come off as long as my mental health is in check, as long as I'm making sure my needs are being met. And granted, I will graduate from school. I will do all the things I need to do to graduate and all that stuff, but I can't focus on school if my mental health is not well. And that is one of the reasons why I wanted to do 75 hard. Um, because honestly, it's a mental clarity challenge for me because everything that I have to do in this program, in this challenge, has to do with putting myself first. Drinking 128 ounces of water every day. I slap with water, but I know I need water. I, I need it. 
we all need water. So doing a challenge that also helps me read books that are not fictional, but are motivational, that help, that blend into getting my mental state together is absolutely amazing. I want that and I need that for myself. I've been giving, 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 and I've been neglecting, 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 neglecting me. And as much as I talk about I don't like to come outside to work out, y'all, I get the most clarity when I'm outside breathing in the fresh air, whatever. That's when my clarity kicks in. I have ADHD. My mind goes all over the place. It just is what it is. I know that. And there are things that I have grown to know that helps with that, like writing papers to school messes with my ADHD because I have to focus on typing or I have to focus on articulating my thoughts in a way that is for everybody. That's hard. Editing, hard. Um, but like I said, the things that I realized, like the book that I'm reading, The Four Agreements, if you never read that book, Listen, the first chapter, two chapters, because that's all I'm into, I'm like four days into it. Those chapters alone is enough of an uh, incentive for me to tell you to buy the book and read it. And if you can find it at your five below, get it there because that's where I got mine. Um, but one of the things to talk about was being impeccable with yourself. So basically, we have to learn that we are without sin. That yes, we make mistakes. Yes, yes, we make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. We're not perfect. But stop holding the mistakes that you make against yourself. Stop allowing people to speak their own thoughts into your mind and accepting that to be true. Like it was talking about how, you know, like as a kid or whatever, like one of the examples that they made without like, just, just, just vibe with me for a second. One of the examples that they made was that there was a girl and you know, her mother had a headache and um, her mother came home and had a headache, but this girl was all in her own world and she was singing. And the more that she found joy in her own singing and in life, she got louder and started singing, you know, getting into it. And her mother, this loudness, this noise, was already aggravating the headache that she already had, which is making it unbearable. So her mother told her, you need to stop singing. You have such an ugly voice. And in that moment, that girl took what her mother said to her to be true. And then she never sung again. She lived by the fact of like being shy and not portraying her voice because she was told that it was ugly. And I was just like, wow. I don't know if I've ever discussed this or whatever, but I may mention to it because I, I, I call my, I, I do this to me a lot. Growing up, I was, I was heavy set. I was overweight. Um, you know, I was thicker than everybody else. Looking back on pictures, I definitely wasn't fat, but I was just thicker. I was shaped different. I looked different. Hey, fine. Like I tell you guys all the time, this shape has been with me since I was like eight or nine. So when I was younger, my grandmother told me that I was fat. She looked at me. She was like, "Oh my God, you're so fat. You need to lose some weight." And it stuck with me. It's one of those things where like her judgment in that moment became fact for me. And so looking back on it even now, regardless, like when I lose weight, I've been small. Like I weighed 195 pounds. And while that might not be small for some people, that's small for me. I'm 5'10". Like evenly distributed, all that other stuff. I was small. And so... But looking back on it, I never saw myself as being small in that moment. Um, and believe it or not, my 
my now ex-husband told me when I got down to that weight that I looked like a bobblehead. Like I looked like I was about a crack, like a crackhead and I needed to be that small. And so honestly, I self-sabotage self myself anytime I get closer to that weight because in my mind, I look like a crackhead and I'm not supposed to be that small. I took somebody else's opinion or ideas of me and became made it fact for myself. And that's why I always say weight is the weight loss is subjective. Um, we have to stop listening to the opinions of others and taking those opinions and letting that be the fact that dictates our lives. Like I don't look at myself now and see fat. I know that I am not in a place that I don't I want to be as far as weight goes, but it's not like I'm that 300 pound girl. I'm not that 255 pound girl I was when I started my journey in May of 2020. I gained some weight back. Yes, that's fine. But it's not okay to lose weight for others. It's not okay to try to make yourself into something that you feel or that you've made yourself into. I think it's hard to describe or it's hard to articulate in this present moment in time because I'm trying to keep up with these steps. <laughs> but I'm just saying the opinions of others should never be your opinion of yourself. Like we all have to get out of that mindset of trying to please everybody else that's around us and start learning how to please our own selves. And that's where I'm going as a 2022. I'm making it a point to show up for myself. And I'm not motivated to get up and work out. Do you think I really want to be doing this workout right now? No. You think I want to do that workout I did this morning? No. Because my legs hurt. I'm sore. I'm tired. But I'm making it a point to be present in my mind for myself. To do things that is going to make me better. Not making myself better for whoever has a negative thought or opinion about me. Fuck your thoughts. Fuck your opinions. I'm great. That's it. That's all. And granted, there are going to be some days where I don't feel like I'm great. I'm going to tell myself every day that I wake up that I'm great because I am. And who going to check me, boo? Take it away. Take it away. Feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you okay, So, see what time it is I'm just now about to eat lunch This is not great um, but it is what it is. So let me show you guys what I'm eating. I have one serving of this Popper Duos Green Pea Crisp Yellow and White Cheddar. This is actually pretty good. It's four points for a serving, four grams of protein. So yeah, then I paired some mandarin oranges, zero points. This whole meal, I think it's less than 500 calories, but it has like 45 or 46 grams of protein. I will leave it on the screen. I know I'm not good with memorizing this stuff off the top of my head. So I made me a tuna wrap. Um, I used two packets of these because um, convenience, 70 calories a packet, 17 grams of protein. You know, don't sleep on your tuna i mean it's good for protein and it's quick and it's easy and i'm all about easy um three tablespoons of sugar-free sweet relish i'm really gonna miss this when it's gone because i have not been able to find sugar-free sweet relish here which kind of sucks <laughs> um, that's zero points for three servings um then the light miracle whip uh, this is 20 calories i use two tablespoons which is one smart point mustard because yeah mustard is life zero smart points i added some spinach just to have some more veggies into um, my meal it's not a ton 
And then the wrap I'm using is this uh, Olay Mexican Foods, a better choice for your health, extreme wellness, high fiber tomato basil carb lean wrap. This is 1.41 or 3.42 because I've had it before. Um, 50 calories, here's your macros, lots of fiber, a decent amount of protein for a wrap. So this is going to be my lunch. I've already had 60 ounces of water, but I'm gonna go ahead and make me another water. So yeah. Okay, that's old angles. Um, I didn't take out and with me and with me to Target because Target is like the cool today apparently on um, New Year's Eve. Everybody's at Target, living their best lives, I guess, preparing to be at home, which I need to be doing. Um, I've been at Target shoo, for almost an hour now. Um, I got some self-care stuff because tonight I want to like do like a soak in the bathtub. So I got me some Epsom salt to like help to release the tension into these calves, not calves, into these quads of mine because that's what hurts. New Year's Eve, so people are acting crazy. Oh. Shooting up the spots and all that great stuff. And I'm just going to be at home chilling, minding my business. So, I will say that my day is not going how I wanted it to go. But we just going to push forward and we're going to be great in the essence of it all anyway. Because sometimes, that's not Like I was saying, we're just going to keep pushing forward and just try to make the best of it um not every day is going to be great and <laughs> not everything is going to be peaches and cream and i understand that and i'm just like was in my feelings i still am in my feelings a little bit um but it's okay it's not i will say that this time was not feelings that i held back i at least acknowledged them i expressed them and you know found some common ground even though I'm still I'm not upset at the person or the situation I'm more so upset at myself um but that's neither here nor there moving on so it is 6 27 I still have to get in another 38 ounces of water plus this little bit that I got left in order to reach my half gallon of water so i gotta do that i gotta eat <laughs> so i feel like i wanted to stop it got dark quick on me and i wanted to stop but i don't like stopping and going like grocery shopping when it's dark but especially now christmas i mean not christmas new year's eve like people is crazy so i was like i'm just gonna come home and figure something out that i got in my fridge which is what i'm doing so for dinner, I'm going to have this Trader Joe's shrimp 
stir fry. I'm going to have the entire bag. The entire bag is 190 calories or two PP points or whatever. Um, I gave myself a point back for the amount of veggies that are in here. And yeah, that's it. That's all. So I'm going to have this and I'm going to top it with a little bit of that Taco Bell avocado um, ranch sauce to two points worth so that's 17 grams of that and then i'm also going to have with it a good old trusty fair life protein shake i didn't have coffee today you guys didn't see me drink any coffee so i didn't have a shake today um i can tell when i don't do the things i normally do so like how i normally eat protein oatmeal or i have a protein coffee normally i have both or i do eggs i didn't do that for breakfast so my protein is a little low um but not like terribly low it's just a little low i like to eat <sighs> i'm trying to eat at least 150 grams of protein a day well when i'm eating and i already calculated up for the day, I think I'm like at 143 or something like that. So we're just gonna take that. Um, but that's gonna be dinner. And then I've already calculated up my dessert. So for dessert, I'm just gonna have a serving size of this enlightened um, chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, which is five points on Weight Watchers. It's 130 calories. Um, yeah and then while i was at target because i'm gonna show you guys what i got from target i saw these these are the noosa um cheesecake bites and i was like oh I, I gotta have them so this one is in raspberry so it's a uh, it's ra raspberry wrapped in white chocolate coating and this one is in the this one's vanilla wrapped in dark chocolatey coating so these are four points for one little bite. So I'm going to have one of the strawberry um, for dessert. And so my dessert is gonna be nine points or 210 calories. Yeah. All right, so let me show you guys what I got from Target. I'm about to cook, but yeah, let me show you what self-care looks like in Jess's world. Okay. So I had to get a replacement um canister. I think I told you guys about that. For my soda stream. Um you just take you just take the canister <laughs> to them an empty canister swap it um instead of paying like the 20 something dollars you pay 15 um so this is my canister i went and got that you do what if you are interested in doing that you would go to customer service um uh, so yeah i went ahead and got two more bottles um for my soda stream they had the one they had one like the one i have and then they had these which look a little smaller <laughs> um but it says that it's supposed to fit so let's see I mean, yeah, it fits in here, so there's that. Um, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same amount of um, space in it, but it was a two pack for like twenty dollars. So got that. Might actually make a new one with that. Um, yeah, so strange. Um. I got some Epsom salt because I want to take to soak today. Um, my body is sore. So I'm going to take a bath probably later. 
Huh, not really read this. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I restocked on some vitamins, collagen plus um, vitamin C, iron because I'm anemic and I need to be on top of my iron supplements, and then vitamin D3. Um, I used to use this a lot and then I stopped, so I'm going to go back to using it. Um, vitamin D3 helps with uh, bone and joint health. So, yeah, I got some pore strips. You know, just some pore strips. <laughs> I got four books, y'all. Four. And none of these are, um, <laughs> none of these are fictional books. So, I follow Michael Todd, um, on instagram i think he's like a great pastor and i don't have his first book but i got this one which is relationship goals um challenge 30 days from good to great just basically you know taking the steps to make sure that not only is my mental health okay but like in relationships i know i'm kind of flawed so yeah um Plus, I just thought it would be a good book to read. Um, it has days. So this one won't be something that I would read as part of my challenge thing, but more so just like a thing for me mentally. Um, I got this book by Issa Rae, The Misadventures of Awkward Black, of Awkward Black Girl. Um, I saw a TikTok or a reel or something but it was talking about like seven books that all black girls or black women should read and this was one of the books that was on there so I was like oh okay I read this too so like I think this is more like a book book about like her or whatever like it might be inspirational, but like this is probably just gonna be another one of those reads on my own time. And then these two, I definitely got for the challenge going forward. So I had this book a long time ago in Savannah. I never read it, just never got around to it, but I wanted to read it. And so this is You Are a Badass How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. Okay, and then she also wrote this book, which is You Are a Badass at Making Money, Master the Mindset of Wealth. So, yeah, I'm probably going to start off with this one and then move on to this one. But, yeah, these, this one was on sale, I think, for like $12.80. But they had a thing for wellness books, so you got $5 off if you spent $20 um and wellness books or whatever so yeah i'm gonna go ahead oh and i got three bins storage bins in case i can tell y'all that's what this is sitting in um i'm gonna go ahead and start making dinner clean up wash dishes too and just get my life together try to finally get this video uploaded um I wanted to have it up for you guys today, but the way my life is working, it's just not seeming like it's going to happen or it's not going to happen early like I wanted it to. So roll with the punches, rolling with the home. Okay. Yeah. All right, though. Let me, let me get my life together. Okay. So here is dinner. Um, like I just. It's real simple. Told you guys what's in it. I just topped it with a little bit of everything but the bagel seasoning. And yeah, here is my protein shake that's going along with it. Dinner. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go back to Target because the thing that they gave me. Where the bubbles at? Where the fizz? There is none. So I think they just exchanged my container out with a container that was already going out that somebody else probably brought back. She probably just picked up the wrong thing. So I gotta take that back. I put the white cap back there by it so that I could take it back and tell them, hey, listen, I bought this the other day. 
Y'all need to exchange it out. <laughs> this is dessert. Um, yeah. I haven't tasted this yet, so I'm going to turn the camera around so we can taste it together. Of course, it's my life that things like this go wrong to me. Like, it never fails that if something goes wrong with me, everything goes wrong. So, here we are. Uh -huh. So it's good. Definitely does not taste like cheesecake to me, but almost has that cheesecake consistency. It tastes like yogurt. <laughs> um, but it's like, it's, it's nice if you need something like in a pinch, like you want something really sweet, but not too sweet. Like the raspberry filling is really, it's really good. Honestly, do I think this is like four points worthy? No. Do I think it should even be four points? No, but I know it is because it's Noosa and they use real sugar. So. But it's not bad. I think it'll probably be better if I threw it in the freezer. I might do that, but that's pretty good. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in.